Hi guys, welcome to VLSA SP with Raman YouTube channel. Today, let's discuss equalization in PCA. Why this equalization needed? Let's understand here. Actually, PCA protocol is the high speed protocol. In high speed protocol, you are transmitting data with respect to high speed here. When you are transmitting data with respect to high speed, what will happen? The unit interval between the symbols will reduce. The distance between the symbols, which is 1 to 0, 0 to 1 transition, the symbols will distance between the symbols will reduce. When distance between the symbols will reduce, what will happen? There is a crosstalk will happen, or inter symbol interference will occur, or signal distortion will occur. Because you are transmitting data through lens here. Lens it is contain the electrical properties. Okay, you are converting that uh, uh, binary data to the electrical form to transmitting through the lens. When you converting binary to electrical form, you are transmitting through the lens. So there is some signal distortion will occur. Okay, how you can overcome this issue by using the link equation? You can overcome the this issue. Intersymbol interference means here you can see I am transmitting data. This is one one zero one. I am transmitting. Okay, what happened on the receiving side? There is a overlap happen. The conjugative bits which is one one overlap happen each other. It receiving side what it will, it will get? May receiver will not decode properly because this is overlap happen. Whether it can be decided zero or one, it can't predict properly. Okay, how you can overcome by using the link equation? You can achieve. Actually, in Gen one Gen two, you are using the Deemphasis mechanism. Deemphasis mechanism is you are reducing the voltage, which is one by third voltage. You are reducing transmitting through the lens here. When reducing the voltage, the signal distortion will reduce because uh, the voltage level reduce means the frequency of the cross track will reduce here. Okay. Now in the after Gen 3 onwards, what you are doing? You are doing the equation by using the preset and cursor coefficients. Okay. Let's understand what is preset. Okay, preset means the voltage you have to be maintained at receiving side and transmitting side. How what is the voltage you have to be maintain between the both side by using a preset mechanism? You can use in in the equation you are using handshake mechanism. You are sending some presets to the comp, uh, link partners. Link partners will understand whether the uh, preset will okay to get proper signal quality at the time it will send with respect to the same preset value. Okay, If the signal quality is not good means then it will use the internal preset here. Internal preset means the device having internal preset. It will make the internal use the internal preset make the signal quality good. Okay, Here you can see actually in the Gen 3 onwards you are using both Pre emphasis and de emphasis, which is the boosting the voltage and reducing the voltage by using the preset here. Okay, here you can see I'm a de emphasis I'm using here. This is the VA, this high voltage I'm reducing to VA, VB here. Okay, this is the de emphasis boosting means you are increasing the voltage from here uh, VC1 to VC2. Uh, this is VC1 is high voltage I am making uh, from VC2. This the there is the transition which is high to low low to high you have to be maintain some thing which has to make the signal quality good by using the preset here overall in uh, gen 3 onwards you are using presets to make the signal quality good okay but you already using presets to make the signal quality good. why this uh, cursor coefficients are needed because cursor coefficient there is some tolerance you already set one voltage level okay between the any symbols so 1 to 0 0 to transition you already set voltage level making the signal quality good but you make the bitter rate very less okay let's consider you have to make the bitter rate 10 per minus 12 okay at that time you have to use the some cursor coefficient to make the some tolerance for the bitter rate you can get proper data by using the cursor coefficient Majorly, you can use the preset only, you can get a proper data, but uh, there is a some way making disturbance in the lens at the time you can use the this cursor coefficients. Okay, cursor coefficients are three types which is the precursor coefficients, post cursor coefficient, cursor coefficients. Okay, a precursor coefficient means it is a multiplier applied to signal before the sampling point. Okay, that can be boost or reduce the signal depending on the need. Okay, cursor coefficient means a sampling point that is multiplied with, with respect to the sampling point here. Post cursor means a multiply applied to a signal after the sampling point that can boost or reduce the signal depending on the need. Okay, here when using the cursor coefficient, you have to be do some steps here. What are the steps you have to follow means you have to be check whether the particular coefficient will equal to with respect to the full swing voltage. Full swing means the peak to peak voltage between uh, between our uh, signal, okay, peak to peak voltage. That is FS, you have to be declared full swing, okay. When using the 
swing mode at the time the voltage level is 24 to 63 if you wanted to use the reduced swing mode the full swing voltage is 12 to 63 okay you have to make uh, achieve some conditions okay the conditions means that uh, cluster coefficient need to be less than or equal to floor value of the fs by 4 and that uh, all the cluster coefficient equal to the fs you have to be uh, satisfy some conditions then our uh, signal quality good okay when using the cluster coefficient you have to be check this condition which is the uh, C cursor C minus one uh, pre cursor coefficient and post cursor coefficient and cursor coefficient equal to FS value and uh, post cursor coefficient equal to the low frequency value. You have to be use this one, okay? Here you can see uh, by using the three tap equalizer, I am getting the proper signal. I am uh, you can see I am this is the sampling point in the sampling point I am using uh, adding multiplying the cursor coefficient before uh, before the sampling point I am using a pre cursor coefficient making the reducing the voltage here I am after the sampling point I am making the post cursor coefficient to making the reducing the voltage it will lead to a equalized signal will, uh, receiving side we can get proper data okay this is three tab uh, equalizer uh, diagram okay the output can multiply with respect to the this three tab filter which is the pre cursor coefficient post cursor coefficient and cursor coefficient okay each having one delay okay now you are already using preset to make the signal quality good but uh, there is some uh, error rate which is the you are getting the some uh, error rate which is 10 power minus 12 error rate behind that you are getting some disturbances uh, through the our lens means you can use the this coefficients otherwise no, not needed this all the coefficients are that you need to be satisfaction that is not required here you have to be used only preset only okay how the process will start let understand in the equalization you are using handshake mechanism why this handshake mechanism needed means let's consider you are transmitting the data okay whether that data we able to receive or will get properly or not how you can achieve by using the handshake mechanism okay by using handshake mechanism you can you can conclude whether that particular data which the receiver will understand or not whether it need to get some uh, acknowledgement from the receiving side okay i received the proper data by sending that some preset values okay uh, whether the actually in pc equation you are using preset to make the signal quality good okay but if there is no need of the pc equation at the time what you can do by setting no equalization bit in the TS1 order set. Okay, you have to bypass the equalization at the time. You have to be set a no equalization bit in the TS1 and TS2 order set. If there is a by if you wanted to bypass the equalization at the time, you can use this one. Okay, let's consider the you have to, uh, equalization can be used two ways, which is autonomous and software. Autonomous means our RC will initiate from the starting, which is uh, Gen 3 onwards. It will start Gen 3. What is the maximum supported speed? It will do the equalization. Okay. When there is, you have to be do some uh, link width change. Okay, link width change can be done after the equalization. Okay, before the equalization, you can do the link width change here. Why you have to change here? Because every lane having a some preset values. Because if different preset values for the each lane, you have to be why each lane having a different preset value. Because each lane made with different materials or design, some electrical characters will vary due to that uh, each lane having a different preset values okay when you when you downsizing the value some which is equalization not done some lens okay at the time we can get the pro, you can't get the proper data and also if when you're transmitting the, the data you are transmitting the dlps before the equalization okay what will happen receiving side will get the proper data no you have to advertise the dlps which is the flow control dlps you have to advertise when you have to advertise means after the completion of the data rate which is the equalization data rate of data rate, you can send the this dlps flow control dps you can send okay if you wanted to make equalization for the highest speed which is the let's consider i need to make the equalization for the gen 1 to gen 4 how you can achieve by using the equalization is supported bit you have to be set okay when you set equalization is supported nrz bit then uh, our ep will achieve the equalization in is speed okay when there is no need uh, let's consider you wanted to uh, gen 1 to gen 5 equalization only needed gen 1 there is no equalization gen 5 gen 5 only it will do the equalization when you set the equalization is supported bit okay now there is a some errors happen our uh, downstream port which is uh, 
RP or our endpoint which is the upstream port some error happen during that uh, equalization how you can recover the, this issue okay what will happen DUT having a uh, some internal status registers okay whenever there is a mismatch happen between the coefficient values or uh, equalization values are the time what will happen our DUT register will update that is link equalization register will update for each data rate you have E link equalization register bit okay when there is a mismatch happen there is a problem occurred okay at the time this uh, bit automatically set when this bit will set let's consider my r e p get uh, this uh, the link equalization request bit will set okay what will happen at the time uh, my e p our endpoint will set send with respect to the request equalization bit inside the ts1 data set it will send okay whenever the request equalization bit it will set in the ts1 data set means our rc will understand then it will start the, again the equalization when there is a uh, detects problem in the equalization okay at that time we have to use the uh, link equalization request bits inside the ts1 data set okay now you wanted to there is two ways are there now one is autonomous another is software software means you, let's consider you have to be do the equalization for gen 4 how you can directly do the equation for gen 4 by setting the target link speed okay let's consider i need to do gen 4 equation how you can do by setting target link speed for the root port which is our downstream port you have to be set the target link speed and also perform equation bit you have to be set okay if both uh, this perform equation bit and target link speed set means then our rc will send start with respect to the phase one and send the ec equal to one to the downstream from the downstream port to our upstream port what will happen there is a equalization will start from ep to rp okay then uh, our uh, end point will also start from phase zero when we wanted to start the equalization in the target speed at that time you have to be set the target link speed and uh, perform equalization bit okay so this all things the handshake process can be done with respect to four phases here okay these four phases can communicate how you can differentiate which is the phase by using the equalization control field in the th0 ts1 address set okay we when you transmitting the data uh, ts1 address set you have to be set equalization control it will indicate what is the phase of the each component which is the uh, rp having which is the what is the phase and ep having what is the phase by using the equalization control field you can get idea okay what is the phase zero let's consider you want to do equalization how you have to do the equalization rc will insert the equalization how rc will insert the equalization it will send the transmitter preset value in the recovery config okay before entering the equalization our rp which is the root port will send the equalization coefficient which is the tx preset it will send in the recovery config then our rc will send ec equal to one bit okay then it will enter the phase one our upstream port which is the ep e ep will enter the phase zero actually phase zero only there for the our upstream port only downstream port uh, this phase zero is not there why downstream port is not there means let's consider our rc is initiated the one equalization okay but uh, do it need to our uh, which is end point need to be needed that equalization the data rate is supported for the particular equalization how you can determine our end point need to be uh, get idea whether that particular equalization supported or not by using the phase zero it will get idea because it will check that particular data rate will supported by the particular equalization then it will start exit the phase zero and move to phase one okay now what will happen both which is our rc rc and ep both are phase one when our end point will uh, enter the phase one when there is a actually end point will receive the data which is th1 it will be able to receive the data properly decode the data everything it can be get a uh, bit error rate is 10 minus 4 okay then ep will send our end point will send with respect to ec equal to 0 1 bit okay then our upstream our downstream port will get idea okay that end point is completed that bit error rate 10 minus 4 achieve then you have to be then our uh, which is downstream port will also make the signal quality good by using uh, this uh, TX preset values. Okay, what is the standard by the our end point? It will uh, get take and uh, use that values and whether that values can be okay, then it will exit this phase one to phase two. Okay, when there is a achievement which is a uh, 10 power minus 4 is achieved, then it will exit phase one to phase two. In the phase two, both let's consider my RP and uh, EP will uh, achieve the phase two equation. 
what will happen in the phase 2 equation why this phase 2 equation it means in the phase 1 what will happen you are transmitting the data both uh, link patterns will uh, get properly and able to sample the data that is everything is okay but uh, phase 2 why is needed means there is a, some you have to be achieve more bit uh, you have to less bit error rate here okay you have to achieve less bit error rate you have to get the proper data how you can achieve by using the phase 2 you can get the proper data okay but uh, using the same process phase 1 what are they doing you are sending the preset value but in the phase 2 you are sending preset value and also cursor coefficient why this cursor coefficient needed means there is some tolerance occurred the, uh, some signal disturbance occurred you have to make the more signal quality at that time you can enter the phase 2 okay by using the cursor coefficient you can achieve more signal quality okay in the phase 2 our root port which is our uh, downstream port will send uh, equation cursor coefficient and the preset value to the our upstream port okay what will happen our downstream, downstream port will send with respect to the preset value coefficient values our upstream port will calculate the values and check whether the values are correct or not able to get the proper data or not it will check whether the, all the conditions met which is the here you can see previous side have described this all the conditions c minus 1 uh, less than equal floor value of the fs by 4 this precursor coefficient is uh, uh, making with respect to the fs by 4 at that time you can get proper idea whether that all the things uh, completed with all the task of uh, all the make the signal quality good by using this uh, side this condition which is the precursor coefficient and the post cursor coefficient and the cursor coefficient equal to fs value then the design our uh, endpoint will understand okay then it's uh, able to get the proper data okay in the phase two the difference between the phase two and phase one the exchange happen that is uh, Cursor coefficient, which is the phase one and phase two cursor coefficient only exchange happen. But in the phase one, only preset will exchange happen. Then, if you wanted to make the signal quality more at the time, you have to enter the phase two. Okay. In the phase two, it will check the all the condition, which is the cursor coefficient condition. It will check whether all the conditions are met means. Then it will exit the exit to phase three here. Okay. In the phase three, same thing. What is the phase two happen? All the checks which is the all the conditions the cursor coefficients all the match then everything which is the all the data uh, get the signal quality good there is no need to again do the further equation then our rc will make the ec bit to 11 one. then our endpoint will uh, send with respect to the same is well if the endpoint may uh, actually in phase 3 again it will send transmitter preset values and equation preset value to the our endpoint okay endpoint will check all the preset values and also coefficient values whether it's okay to make the signal quality achieve good then it will set with respect to ec equal to 1 1 bit then our rc rc will understand okay then you have to be exit this uh, equation by setting the ec equal to 0 0 bit okay this is the complete process uh, in the equation gen 3 onwards you are starting the phases okay through phases you can achieve the proper signal quality and also you can make the bitter rate very less okay by in the phase 2 the difference between the phase 1 phase 2 only with the exchange which is the cursor coefficient can be exchanged inside the phase 2 but phase 1 the cursor coefficient will not exchange only preset values only exchange okay in the uh, when you using the cursor coefficient means what will happen you make the signal quality is very good okay at that time you can use the cursor coefficient okay uh, this is the complete uh, PCI equation okay if you like the content please share and subscribe